hello guys welcome to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve this problem from chapter 16 the problem says that the, pl the planetary gear a is spent at b link bc rotates clockwise with an angular velocity of 8 radian per second so this link bc is revolving with a velocity of 8 radian per second in the clockwise direction while the outer gear rake rotates counterclockwise so this outer gear rotates in the counterclockwise with an angular velocity of 2 radian per second it is required to determine the angular velocity of gear a so we have to find the angular velocity of this gear a so as we can see that um, this link is rotating with an angular velocity of 8 radian per second in the clockwise direction so the velocity of this point b will be in this direction and the magnitude of that velocity of b will be the radius this radius times omega and the direction of that velocity will be perpendicular to this uh, bc length so we can say that the velocity of point b is equal to the length of link bc which is the radius of the circle along which this point b is revolving so that is we can say uh, bc length uh, multiplied by the omega bc so bc length is 15 inches and omega bc is 8 radian per second so this is 120 inches per second and velocity of b is towards the left is this link bc is uh, moving in the clockwise direction so the direction of the velocity will be tangent to that circular path along which this uh, link bc is moving so we can say that this velocity of b is equal to 120 inches per second similarly is this outer rake is moving in the counterclockwise direction so let's say that somewhere here is point e so that point e will have a velocity towards the right since they are in contact so this rake will try to rotate this gear in this direction so we will have the velocity of e let's say somewhere here is that point e so the velocity of e will be equal to um this this uh, radius times this omega and the velocity of e will be in this direction so from that uh, center point c the velocity of e will be equal to we can say that will be 20 inches the radius will be 20 times the omega which is 2 radian per second so this is equal to 40 inches per second and its direction will be towards the right so we can say that this is VE, which is 40 inches per second. So now we are required to find the angular velocity of gear A. So we can write that the velocity of B is equal to the velocity of E plus the velocity of B relative to E. Now, as we can see that... Um, this point e is moving towards the right and point b is moving towards the left so the velocity of b relative to e will also be towards the left is for velocity of b relative to e we think that this point e is stationary and with respect to that stationary point e uh, we think for the velocity of b relative to that point e so if we think in our head that this point e is stationary then this point b is moving in a circular path about that point e like this so this means that point b at the instant shown the point b will have a velocity in this direction relative to that point e so we can say that the velocity of b relative to e is shown by this pink arrow which is velocity of b relative to e and as we think of this velocity of b relative to e as if this point e is stationary so then the velocity of b relative to e will be its magnitude will be equal to this length the radius of the circle about which uh, this point b is revolving about that point e multiplied by the angular velocity of the gear along which um, with which this gear a is revolving 
so we can say that um, this gear a is revolving with an angular velocity of omega a so we can say that the velocity of b relative to e will be equal to this radius which is this 20 minus 15 so this radius is 5 inches so we can say 20 minus 15 into the angular velocity of gear a so this is basically 5 omega a and this velocity of b relative to e is towards the left as well so now if we apply this equation the relative velocity equation and if we assume that towards the right is the positive direction so then velocity of b has a magnitude of 120 and it is acting in the negative direction that is towards the left velocity of e is 40 and it is acting towards the positive sense that is towards the right and velocity of b relative to e is in the negative direction that is towards the left and its magnitude is 5 omega a so now we can find this we can write that if i bring this term to the other side and this to the other side so we will have the equation like this 5 omega a 40 plus 120 and this will be equal to 160 divided by 5 and this will be equal to the angular velocity of gear a which is required is equal to 32 radian per second so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope all this this discussion will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if this helps do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from hibler dynamics chapter 16.